I'm gonna try something different. I've not done a video like this since the first video I've ever posted, and that is gonna well not the first video I've ever posted, but like the first video I posted on Vanguard Cutcom. Uh, basically, I'm gonna be doing a Cutcom for this video. See how it goes and see how people actually like it. Instead of highlights on the gun. This is going to be more just me talking. And in this video though, we are playing with the new STG-44 uh, that you get from the Secrets of the Pacific. And guys, this gun, in my opinion, is not a good, like I don't really like it. It shoots slow. It doesn't hold a lot of bullets or mags. Uh, after shooting one clip, you're basically out. Now, I do find times where it's not as helpful or good, I guess, would be the word. See, I mean, and the gun is pretty good, but I don't know. The grind for gold, or, or atomic, sorry, is still going. Uh, it's just wearing me out, I guess. I, I like, you know. I like the earlier stages whenever you're just playing with that gun uh, and doesn't really matter what mode you play, how you play, if you gotta sit back, like you don't have to do anything special, you just, like there, that is upsetting because that guy should have died way earlier than that. I like the earlier stages of I guess the atomic grind where I'm just killing and you know playing the game how I like to play. Uh, I hate having to get long shots and playing hardcore and stuff like that. I find it, I guess, boring. I feel like I'm waiting and uh, you can't play it in a pushy way because most people are sitting back in their spawns doing challenges and stuff. So yeah, like I was saying, I mean, I just don't find hardcore, I guess, pleasing to play. It's very, if I wasn't doing missions, I wouldn't play it. Sledgehammer put in hardcore game modes like this, like where you can play hardcore ship hoss do i think i'd play it more no those if i do really get atomic in this game uh it'll be the first game i ever get like the mastery camo unlocked a b i'd be super proud of myself just because i've never like been the type to get kills with the rocket launchers or even use them usually the way i play these games is i find one gun that i'm super good with and I'll just only play with that weapon. Like I won't ever experiment, won't ever try anything different or any of that, you know, s assortment of s things. So uh, for me to be even trying to get diamond on ARs first is kind of weird because I'm pretty set on the MP40 being my favorite gun, but I never even use it right now because I got tired of, that was supposed to be my first gold gun, but then I got tired of trying to get it gold by doing the long shots. I wanted to get the STG-44 to copy an octane class that he had that I couldn't level it up fast enough. Uh, so then I started playing with the AS-44 just due to uh, it being the favorite gun to Beatrice. Um, and because of that, because it was her favorite gun, I used her a lot trying to get the level 20 for all operators on the barbarian side this gun's not bad i mean it's definitely slow shooting and uh a little different than what i my play style would i guess handle um i don't think you should probably you should probably be one of these guys sent back lasering people uh if you're using this but i mean it's a cool gun it looks cool i do however wish you could put the camos on the guns like um whenever you have these variants i wish you could still put camos and stuff on the variant like you could in cold war and the other games um yeah when you put gold on this gun it's pretty much just and it's just over the camo is takes over the whole gun now you can put like a cheetah one of the cheetah print gun camos on but it and it doesn't take up the whole thing but you can bear you only barely see its mouth this is also my first uh variant i've ever used i've not used a variant in the game yet i don't know if i'll ever use it look at that just two of them 
I don't know if I'll ever use another variant in the game. Unless they're like cool variants. Like with uh, Cold War. With the like AK-74. There was that anime one that I really liked. Um, and if you can still take attachments off the variants. And put whatever you want. But keep that base. That would that'd be cool. I'm also planning on a lot of uh, cool things for the channel. That I want to post. Also if you didn't know. You can kill these guys through that wall. So. If you have a recon and it pops up, just shoot that wall. Use piercing vision, obviously. And, like, if he's in there. Now, if he's behind that wall, you can't shoot through that one. You can only shoot through this back one. Don't know why or who made that the thing, but that's just how it is. Because my favorite way, like, I almost got a nuke. Also, expect, like, a nuke will be dropped This the, in Vanguard. I've never dropped a nuke in any Call of Duty. I... I think I in Black Ops 2 I got a nuclear like badge, but I've never gotten a nuke in a game. So what? And the dogs they just jump up and eat me. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe. And if you like these type videos more, let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next one.